the law of one on a bridge transcription of contact between the L and L group in registered trademark and the social memory complex known as RAW. Session 46. I am RAW. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. We communicate now. Questioner. Could we please first have an indication of the instrument's condition? I am raw. This instrument scans at present at extremely low physical energy and is under attack. This will continue for some of your weeks. However, the vital energy of this instrument is gradually restoring its former level. Questioner, in that case, we'd better ask you only one question, unless you deem it alright to ask any more questions than that, but the one question that is bothering us which I got in meditation, may be an inappropriate question, but I feel it my duty to ask it because it is central to the instrument's mental condition and ours. It has to do with the two cats which we were going to take to have worked upon today for teeth cleaning and the small growth removed from Gandalf's leg. I got the impression that there might be a N in row there for the Orion group, and I was primarily concerned about anything that we could do for protection for these two cats. I may be out of line in asking this, but I feel it my duty to ask it. Would you please give me information, all the information you can on that subject? I am raw. The entity, mind-body-spirit complex, Gandalf, being harvestable third density, is open to the same type of psychic attack to which you yourselves are vulnerable. Therefore, through the mechanism of images and dreams, it is potentially possible for negative concepts to be offered to this mind-body-spirit complex, thus having possible deleterious results. The entity, Fairchild, though harvestable through investment, does not have the vulnerability to attack in as great an amount due to a lack of a mind complex activity and the distortion of conscious devotion. For protection of these entities we might indicate two possibilities. Firstly, the meditation putting on the armor of light. Secondly, the repetition of short ritual sentences known to this instrument from the establishment which distorts spiritual oneness for this instrument. This instrument's knowledge will suffice. This will aid due to the alerting of many discarnate entities also aware of these ritual sentences. The meditation is appropriate at the time of the activity on behalf of these entities. The ritual may be repeated with efficacy from this time until the safe return, at convenient intervals. Questioner, I'm not familiar with the ritual sentences. If the instrument is familiar you need not answer this, but which sentences do you mean? Silence. No response from rule. Questioner, I assume the instrument is familiar. I am rule. This is correct. Questioner, can you tell me something of the little growth on Gandalf's leg? What caused it and if it is, a, danger to him? I am rule. The cause of such growth has been previously discussed. The danger to the physical body complex is slight given the lack of repeated stimulus to anger. Questioner, at this time I would ask if we should end the session because of the instrument's low vitality, or whether this is irrelevant because of the dedication to this session already. I am raw. The latter is correct. You may proceed. We shall monitor the vital energy of this instrument. Questioner, I was just wondering, if an entity polarizes toward the service to self-path, would the anger have the same physical effect that it affects an entity polarized toward the service to others' path? Would it also cause cancer? Or is it just a catalytic effect working in the positively polarized entity? I am raw. The catalytic mechanisms are dependent, not upon the chosen polarity of a mind-body-spirit complex, but upon the use or purpose to which this catalysis is put. Thus the entity which uses the experience of anger to polarize consciously positively or negatively does not experience the bodily catalyst but rather uses the catalyst in mental configuration. Questioner, not sure that I understand that. Let's take some examples. If an entity polarizing toward the negative path becomes angry, let's take the condition where he develops a cancer. What is the principle of that for him? I am raw. We see the thrust of your query and will respond at variance with the specific query if the meets with your approval. Questioner, certainly. The entity polarizing positively perceives the anger. This entity, if using this catalyst mentally, blesses and loves this anger in itself. It then intensifies this anger consciously in mind alone until the folly of this red ray energy is perceived not as folly in itself but as energy subject to spiritual entropy due to the randomness of energy being used. Positive orientation then provides the will and faith to continue this mentally intense experience of letting the anger be understood, accepted, and integrated with the mind-body-spirit complex. The other self which is the object of anger is thus transformed into an object of acceptance, understanding, and accommodation, 
all being reintegrated using the great energy which anger began. The negatively oriented mind-body-spirit complex will use this anger in a similarly conscious fashion, refusing to accept the undirected or random energy of anger and instead, through will and faith, funneling this energy into a practical means of venting the negative aspect of his emotions so as to obtain control over other self or otherwise control the situation causing anger. Control is the key to negatively polarized use of catalyst. Acceptance is the key to positively polarized use of catalyst. Between these polarities lies the potential for this random and undirected energy creating a bodily complex the analog of what you call the cancerous growth of tissue. Questioner, then as I understand it you are saying that if the positively polarizing entity fails to accept the other self or if the negatively polarizing entity fails to control the other self either of these conditions will cause cancer, possibly. Is this correct? I am raw. This is partially correct. The first acceptance, or control depending upon polarity, is of the self. Anger is one of many things to be accepted and loved as a part of self or controlled as a part of self, if the entity is to do work. Questioner, then are you saying that if a negatively polarized or polarizing entity is unable to control his own anger or unable to control himself in anger that he may cause cancer? Is this correct? I am raw. This is quite correct. The negative polarization contains a great requirement for control and repression. Questioner, a repression of what? I am raw. Any mind complex distortion which you may call emotional which is of itself disorganized, needs, in order to be useful to the negatively oriented entity, to be repressed and then brought to the surface in an organized use. Thus you may find for instance, negatively polarized entities controlling and repressing such basic bodily complex needs as the sexual desire in order that in the practice thereof the will may be used to enforce itself upon the other self with greater efficiency when the sexual behavior is allowed. Questioner, then the positively oriented entity, rather than attempting repression of emotion, would balance the emotion as stated in an earlier contact. Is this correct? I am raw. This is correct and illustrates the path of unity. Questioner, then cancer is a training catalyst operating for both polarities in approximately the same way but attempting, let's say, to create polarization in both directions, positive and negative depending upon the orientation of the entity experiencing the catalyst. Is this correct? I am raw. This is incorrect in that catalyst is unconscious and does not work with intelligence but rather is part of the, shall we say, mechanism of learned teaching set up by the sub-logos before the beginning of your space-time. Questioner, how does cancer do this learned teaching when the entity has no conscious idea of what is happening to him when he develops cancer? I am raw. In many cases catalyst is not used. Questioner, what is the plan for use of the catalyst of cancer? I am raw. The catalyst, and all catalyst, is designed to offer experience. This experience and your density may be loved and accepted or it may be controlled. These are the two paths. When neither path is chosen the catalyst fails in its design and the entity proceeds until catalyst strikes it which causes it to form a bias towards acceptance and love or separation and control. There is no lack of space time in which this catalyst may work. Questioner. I am assuming that the sub-logos or the logos plan is for positively and negatively polarized social memory complexes in fourth density and above. Can you tell me the purpose of the plan for these two types of social memory complexes with respect, shall we say, to Coulomb's law or negative and positive electrical polarity, or any way you can? I am raw. This instrument grows weary. We shall speak with you again. We may indicate the possibility, without further harm to this instrument, of approximately two sessions per your weekly period until these weeks of potential for attack and presence of very low physical energy are past. May we say it is good to be with this group. We appreciate your fidelity. Are there any brief queries before the end of this work time? Questioner, only if there is anything we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or improve the contact. I am raw. Each is supporting the instrument well and the instrument remains steady in its purpose. You are conscientious. All is well. We ward you aware of any laxity regarding the arrangement and orientation of appurtenances. I am raw. I leave you, my friends, in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one infinite creator. Adonai. And of session 46.